Okay. One reporter down in Salt Lake. Okay, here with Blake Anderson, new head coach at Utah State. Um, tell me a little bit about your relationship with uh, Matt Wells, first of all. You know, we go back, heck, it's kind of hard to say, back yeah. in the late 90s when I was coaching at Trinity Valley Community College in Texas. Uh, back then, Bill Bates and Emmett Smith used to do summer camps in Dallas every year at North Texas. And coaches like myself, young guys that didn't make a lot of money. He was a GA, I think, at the time from somewhere. Um, we would come in and work those camps. And we'd be there for, you know, basically almost a week. We just hit it off, work some of the same positions, would hang out together, uh, eat, you know, eat a, eat a bite. We always go run over and when we have a little bit of time off, play a little golf across the street. And just really like minded, believe a lot of the same things, and we have stayed in contact ever since. This relationship grew and, 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 turned into a really, really good friendship. So I know how much he loved this place. It's one of the reasons I wanted to come here. Just he absolutely loved it. And then um, also talk a little bit about the um, kind of change of scenery, I guess. You know, I, I think that was one of the one of the reasons people cited for coming here as well. Um, how, how important was that? Or what do you think um, that process was like as far as deciding? Did you talk to... Matt Wells and different things, or how did you decide to make a change? Well, I really didn't. I didn't really talk to Matt to, to see if I had interest. I really just yeah. talked to him about the things that he loved about the place. Uh, I've been here enough, been in the area enough, either whether coming out to ski with the family in Park City or whether here to play games, uh, knew enough about the place. I've met John before, and I knew he'd be a great guy to work for. Both Neil Brown and, and Matt are two of my closer friends. They both worked for the guy and loved working mm-hmm. for him. So to me, it was like, can you be successful there? And absolutely you can. The place to live, the beauty, the culture, the uh, just the things to do, I, those were no-brainers to me. Uh, so it, it was um, – at, at no point was I, did I ever have any um, concerns about was this a place that I could be happy, was it a place that would be great for us to, to move to. Uh, in terms of a fresh start and a new – kind of a new look, I mean, just for me, what I've been through the last few years, it, it came at a really good time. I, 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 excited about the opportunity to turn in a new page and start a new life in a new place. And, but I want to do it at a place that I can win, and I want to do it working with good people and uh, in, in a good community and all those things you have here. And then the other question that I've seen a lot from fans is what style of defense do you plan on? You talk, you talk, you're an offensive guy. Well, you talk we're going to be, we're going to be multiple. And again, I would, I would share with you who's coming as the DC, but he's mm-hmm. finishing up with a bowl game. I would tell you, we're going to be multiple between a four, two, five and a, and a three, four. We're going to be aggressive. We're going to put our hand in the air and let the defensive line. It's about tackles for loss, sacks and takeaways. That's, it's all about that. So team speed, 11 hats to the ball. We will be multiple. You will see us based off the personnel that we're playing against. You'll see us move and shift. We won't stay in one look. We're going to, we'll, we're going to be aggressive and attack the ball, though. Talk about being competitive at the point of attack. Uh, you know, it's, it's a very similar style defensively as it is offensively. And the ability to get our offense back on the field means we've got to take, take the ball away. Mm-hmm. And or that's going to be the premium is, is takeaways, reduce the explosive play, and create turnovers. Yeah, it seems like the uh, the most successful years at Utah State have been getting takeaways and playing fast on offense. So, is that a blueprint you've seen at Utah State, or you've seen? I guess it's Utah just my State philosophy. Well. Yeah. It's my philosophy. Now, we we didn't really have that luxury the last two years defensively at, at Arkansas State. But if you look back to the first five, it was fast paced offense, create turnovers, be aggressive on defense, and that's. That's the personality I want to have. Building from the ground up, we'll have that. We'll have an opportunity to do that in terms of personnel. Okay. Well, that's all I've got. I appreciate it. I appreciate your time. Good to meet you.